Hello and welcome to the 20 is Plenty YouTube channel. My name is Harry Durham and to be honest with you, I'm just going to I'm going to be completely honest with everything that I say right now. I'm actually a little bit fed up and annoyed from the reaction off the back of uh, Brazil's 4-1 win over South Korea last night. I'm going to get into that in just a sec. But remember, if you're new here, to like and subscribe just down below. We are so close to 200 subscribers on this channel. Would absolutely love to reach that by the weekend. Give us a hand. Subscribe to the channel. More podcast content coming every single week. And of course, more footy videos as well, because we love that. So the breakdown, a bit of background information for you. Brazil played South Korea last night and um, it ended 4-1 on the night. And my question for you is, what do you think the biggest talking point was from that night? Was it Brazil's dominance? Was it South Korea's lack of defence? And being able to stop Brazil. Was it Neymar's elegant opening penalty? No. Was it Vinicius Jr.'s R1 and circle finesse shot? Brilliant finish, by the way. No. Was it Richarlison's beautiful finish just outside the six-yard box? No. Or was it Paqueta and his lovely volley after an exquisite Vinicius Jr. assist? Can you guess the answer? Probably it's no. What I can't get my head around is Brazil went 4-1 and 4-1 comfortably didn't score any goals in the second half. Yet what most of the, and I'm going to say it, dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures are angry about and pundits of our great game are frustrated about are... Brazil's samba celebrations that they were doing after all the goals. Let's let's let's, let's pull out a few. Uh, let's pull out a few quotes, shall we? Uh, you may have seen last night as well. There was what Lucas Paqueta, Vinicius Junior, and Neymar all celebrating after the first goal, and then Richarlison doing their chicken dance as well, which was brilliant. So let's 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 delve into some of Roy Keane's quotes last night. Roy Keane on ITV. I can't believe what I'm watching. I can't believe what I'm watching. It's like watching Strictly. I don't like this. People say it's their culture, but I really think it's disrespecting the opposition. Roy, utmost respect for this man as, yeah, a pundit and also a legend of the game as well, but obviously he does have a tendency for, you know, speaking his mind and I, I, I just... I think he's just been a bit naive, to be honest. Why do you honestly care? It's their culture. Samba is Brazilian culture. It's a traditional Brazilian dance. We've seen it for years. Ronaldinho was doing it all across Europe. Pretty much after every single goal. That's when he was with PSG or AC Milan or Barcelona. Most of his celebrations were influenced by Samba. What's your issue? I personally don't understand. It's like some of these pundits and these pundits that were, I don't know, I wouldn't say scared of expressing themselves, but scared to look like an idiot, have a severe problem with it. And it's boring. It's tedious. Let these players express themselves. Why not? They are on the grandest stage of them all. And you're getting angry because they're doing a samba dance. They're doing a chicken dance. That's what you're getting angry about. There are more important things on planet Earth to get angry about than them samba dancing, which is part of the Brazilian culture. I don't think a lot of these pundits realise probably some of the conditions that these players have grown up in. Um representing their national team and representing any national team, no matter who you are and where you come from, is huge. Um, when you come from a place like a favela or a slum or somewhere like that and 
most we know most people don't make it as footballers. There's a one in a million chance, but say you're that million and your family could come from a war torn country or come from somewhere like a favela. If you score a goal in a World Cup and you're told that you're not allowed to embrace your culture, what is the guy meant to do? Is is Richarlison or Lucas Paqueta meant to just pick up the ball, cradle it, and run back to the centre spot when they're already about 4 0 up? Why can't they embrace a bit of samba? Why not? The, it's this narrow mindedness that really just infuriates me. Think about the bigger picture. Think about what it means to these players to represent their country, where they might have come from, what journey they have been on to get to the level that they are. I see people on social media today, and I went on uh, Richarlison's Instagram just before recording this, and he's sharing videos of kids in Brazil doing the chicken dance. That's what you want to see. That is who these players are trying to inspire is young kids back in Brazil. Young kids all over the world that will see Richarlison doing the chicken dance and they will be like, not only is that funny, they're going to do it in school and imitate it and people are going to want to be Richarlison and they're going to want to go to World Cups and do what he just did or did last night. Because they will have in their minds... If he can do it, if he if he comes from here and if he can get out of this situation, I can do it. So don't go and tell people that they can't do something that's part of their culture. That is completely wrong. And I think it shows a lot of naivety as well. Expiring the next generation is exa exactly what we want to do. Were people kicking off when Peter Crouch was doing the robot in 06? No. So why all of a sudden do you take issue if Brazilian players are doing the samba? And this really annoyed me. This really, really annoyed me because Brazil won 4-1, like I mentioned. Some of their goals <laughs> were actually outstanding. Vinicius Juniors was probably one of the sweetest finesse shots that I have ever seen. Nestled into the top right-hand corner. You could not, he could not have hit that cleaner or sweeter. I don't get it. His assist for Paqueta as well. And Richarlison, we're talking about Richarlison's goal being one of the goals of the tournament so far. The bloke did three headers in the build up. Yet, the biggest story off the back of it. Oh, God. So, watching Strictly come dancing. Do you know what, Roy? Why don't you just go and watch Strictly instead? You're boring, mate. You're boring. And I used to kind of, I used to find Roy Keane's punditry and analysis really funny, but it's just gone to a point now where it's just like a man in his 50s is just bored. It's like a guy that comes up to you in the pub and he just won't stop talking to you and your mates. And it's going to take, you just, just, just can't get the hint to leave. Do you know what I mean? That's what I feel like Roy... Roy, I was about to say Roy Hodgson, not Roy Hodgson, Roy Hodgson, I love you. Roy Keane is turning into just this prehistoric creature. And it's it's getting a bit tedious. I mean, your analysis of the game is great, but who cares if they're doing Sambo? It's part of their culture, Roy. Pick up a book, do some reading. Hey, listen, you've got enough money. Why don't you go to Rio Carnival very soon? Come on, send a couple of months away. Embrace the culture. You know, Roy, some places over the world have different cultures. That's absolutely fine. So, listen, rant over from me. Um, very impressed with Brazil so far in this tournament. Of course, they lost to Cameroon, but they were fielding a B team. Yesterday, I was very impressed with Vinicius Jr. And also Richarlison as well, because seriously, if yeah, like I said, if Tottenham can sort themselves out... Mate, that guy will not be hanging around in North London for too long. He is probably, well, we know that Barcelona have got financial issues, but they'll probably find a way to sign him. But listen, that's my rant over. Just need to get it off my chest. 
Remember, please like and subscribe to 20 is plenty just down below. So close to 200 subscribers. It mean the absolute world. More content coming this week as well. England in their massive quarterfinal clash with France. I've just seen a notification on my computer that Mbappe is mistraining. Is this a blessing in disguise? See you later, guys.